The Marvel Avengers video game offers dozens of skins to customize your Avengers look during battle and the rest of the game. I've played a lot of the game so far, and I can't help but notice how awesome a lot of these skins are. So in today's video, I'm going to list two of my favorite skins available for each character during the launch of the game. Stars and Stripes! Hello, and welcome to another Carrot Scraps video, and by another, I mean the 32nd. So, just to be clear on the rules before we start, most of these picks will be skins you can earn in-game, or pre-order skins, but not skins purchasable through vendors or with real money. Because, for whatever reason, I haven't felt incentivized to buy skins yet. Anyway, let's waste no more time and jump right into this. First on our list is Black Widow's lethal outfit. I think no matter what, Black Widow looks cool when she's wearing black and red together. Black outfits definitely work for her, but that sharp pop of red really stands out during gameplay. I think most of Black Widow's costumes, whether it's in the movies, or the comics, or the video games, center around her wearing all black, obviously because she's a spy. But as a comic book character, I really like seeing colors on the costume. And my second choice for Black Widow skins is the Obsidian pre-order skin. You know, at first I really wasn't into these Obsidian outfits before launch, but I've really warmed up to them over time. The one I like the most, of course, is Black Widow's right here. I think her hair looks really cool with that jet black look, and the gold accents really work for her. I think the reason why the Obsidian outfit works best for Natasha is that out of all of the gold, gray, and black Obsidian costumes, it makes the most sense for Natasha to be wearing it. Coming up next, we're going to look at Iron Man's costumes. First up is the Star Boost armor, and oh my gosh, this armor is amazing. It just stands out so distinctly from Tony's other, more traditional armors. It helps a lot that the skin has a story campaign scene that welcomes players to its glory. And when you see this skin and are told that Tony is going to go to space, I imagine most players lost their marbles like I did. And again, I think it's the fact that it's so rare to see an all-white Iron Man armor that really helps the wow factor for this skin. Anyway, moving on, Liquid Cool is another Iron Man skin that I just love. And actually, this skin feels very nostalgic to me personally. I feel like I remember seeing a blue Iron Man suit in a comic I managed to get my hands on as a kid. Of course, I couldn't read that comic, but I, I definitely flipped through it. And this skin feels like it's calling out to that memory in my brain specifically. I also love that it looks like it's designed for a specific purpose. A secret purpose. A purpose that only Tony Stark knows, until he decides to lecture you about every single detail. No matter how you look at it, it's a skin that really impresses me. Coming up next is the Young Avenger. Not really the Young Avenger, like like she's a Young Avenger, not like she's on the team, Young Avengers, trademark. And her first outfit that I really like is her DIY outfit. Now I'm sure you know there's another skin that looks very similar to this one in Kamala's catalog, but this one does the homemade costume idea so much better in my opinion. I especially love seeing the pin she received before the tragic events of A-Day uh, displayed proudly on her chest. That little touch and so many other touches similar to this one on Kamala's skins in general really go the extra mile to show her as a character through her costumes. And speaking of personality, my next favorite Kamala Khan skin is the Hulk Fan skin. This skin is called Hulk Fan, and what more can I say? I love this skin because I'm a Hulk fan. The really cool thing about Kamala in this game is that for many people, she represents the player. Getting to express my love for the Hulk through a t-shirt that Kamala Khan is wearing is just really neat to me. Though I will admit that I also love the palette of this skin, but I think that's more to blame on the Hulk's color palette in general. And speaking of Hulk, next we're going to be talking about my favorite Hulk skins. First up is the Possessed skin, and it was really hard for me to choose my favorite painted Hulk skin because they're all so awesome. This was a really smart idea to incorporate face and body paint for Hulk skins. It just works so well with the character's base look. But in the end, the Possessed skin won me over the most, especially because I love the Grey Hulk and he looks so cool contrasted by the white paint. The next skin we have is the Breakthrough Pre-Order skin, and as I'm sure you've already noticed, I'm a big fan of bright, vibrant colors. I do really love the bruised and bearded Hulk we see in the main game, but I can't tell you how excited I was when I saw I could play as a greener version of the Hulk. Everybody knows that greener is better in terms of giant green muscle men. He just looks so awesome, and he reminds me of a more tongue-in-cheek version of the character that we might see in a 90s comic book. And upon consideration, he does give me Lou Ferrigno vibes, as someone in my Twitch chat wisely pointed out the other day. Why did you zoom in when I mentioned green muscle men? <laughs> 
moving on, we're going to talk about some of my favorite Thor skins. And of course, first up, we have the Samaritan skin. Since they showed this skin in the first Marvel Avengers War Table, I've been very excited to play as civilian Thor. I love the Donald Blake reference on his name tag. And of all of the Avengers in the game, seeing a Norse god murder robots in normal clothes makes the most sense to me. And of course, I love seeing the word volunteer on his back, because even on his days off, Thor is a selfless boy. And coming up next, we got the Battleborn Thor costume. So, all of that being said about normal clothes, I also love seeing Thor being overdressed. Seeing Thor dressed as some mix between a royal deity and a brutal savage is something we need more of. And I just personally prefer the all-black version of this skin. Now that I think about it, this look kind of reminds me of his current look in the comics, minus all of the cosmic glory. And last, but certainly not last on our list, is Captain America. Ugh, it's just so cool. I've already established my love for both bright, vibrant colors and harsh black palettes, and this costume combines them both. I feel like this shade of yellow is just so rare to see in this game, and it really stands out here. When I saw this as an alternative palette for the skin that we saw earlier in the campaign, I was shocked with how creative they got with the other colors for this costume. All of that being said, uh, is it just me, or does Captain America look like an adult dancer in these costumes? <laughs> No, just me? Okay, sorry, just me. Let's move on. And then we have the Stark Tech Captain America costume. Now, most of the Stark Tech armor looks pretty amazing, but no other Stark Tech skins look as great as Captain America's. I love that it looks like this fusion between an Iron Man suit and Captain America's original costume. You know, this costume with its glowing eyes actually reminds me a lot of the costume Captain America wore in the comics before the 2015 Secret Wars comic book event. This was featured in the last issue of the Jonathan Hickman Avengers run of the comics, and faced Steve Rogers against an inverted Tony Stark. You know what I mean by inverted, right? Like, Tony Stark's morals were inverted, so he was, like, kind of a bad guy for, for a little bit there. So he, yeah. Oh, also, Captain America was an old man at the time. Did I forget that? Yeah, he was an old man uh, because he lost the super soldier serum. And uh, so he needed the, 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 the Iron Man Captain America suit to, to even stand a chance to fight against Tony. And, uh, I, you know, I think I, I feel like I'm talking too much about this. I feel like we don't need to go into this. But just trust me, um, it was pretty wild. Man, old man Steve Rogers versus evil Tony Stark. That if Nothing sounds more comic book than what I just described. But, you know, for as crazy as those stories sound, I actually really Are enjoyed the... Are you still the, talking about comic books? Oh, I'm, Shut yeah, up and okay, focus no. on what you're supposed to be doing. I'm going to do it. Just give me some privacy. Anyway, before we go, I wanted to mention some quick honorable mentions. First up, we have Black Widow's Stark Tech skin. I really love that they gave her this visor. It's, it's very unique compared to other Black Widow skins that she has. Then we have Kamala Khan's Dos Vidania skin. This is just another awesome skin where I just feel like I, I kind of want her clothes. I, I want that over shirt or jacket or whatever you call it. Then we have the Manic Hulk skin. I had to shout out the Manic skin. It's just a palette swap of the Breakthrough skin, but I still think it's so cool. You know, such a simple detail like making the shirt that he's ripping through a plaid shirt makes Bruce feel that much more real when Hulk takes control. Plus, I just love the idea of, like, the Hulk wearing plaid. It, it makes me think of, like, a Farmer Hulk. Farmer Hulk, I love you. Blech. And that concludes my list of favorite launch skins from the Marvel Avengers video game. Did I leave out your favorite skins, or was my list pretty valid? I'd love to hear what skins you like and have been using in the comments below. There's been a lot of concern about the game's monetization model since before the game's release. And I have to say, I was surprised and impressed by how many skins and costumes you can earn in-game without spending any money. So with so many quality options to earn without spending money in-game, it makes you wonder if the paid options will ever be enticing enough to encourage the spending of real dollars. Honestly, I doubt I ever will. I don't normally buy cosmetics when it comes to AAA games like this. So my instincts tell me that I probably won't. That is, as long as they don't have a Scarlet Spider skin available for purchase. If they did that, then I would be forced to pay real money to look like my favorite comic book character. And I don't I don't know if I could I don't know if I could do that. 
<clears throat> uh, anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If for whatever reason you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like and to subscribe to my channel for more. To watch me play video games live, check me out on Twitch at Carrot Scraps. And all of my other social media, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram are at Carrot Scraps as well. Thanks again so much for watching, and I will see you soon. So while I was looking through a lot of the skins uh, to collect footage for the video, I got this weird glitch where like the same character would appear twice and I could just mutate them and, and move them around. This happened to me twice, so I, I got to imagine I can do it way more than twice. And it seemed to happen when like I would click on a character and, and go to their cosmetics options too fast, if that makes sense. But look at this. He's like mutating out of his own skin. It's, it's creepy. And then we got the, the multi-armed Thor. Wouldn't that be awesome if we got a four-armed Thor in the game? That's exactly what we would want. Four-armed Thor, I love you. Blah. All right, I got to get some sleep.